Hello and welcome to our fifth weekly special episode of Most Unwanted and X Files podcast. Oh, I'm Chex. <laughs> and I'm Luke. Oh, God, I thought, I'd, me, a, thought I'd mix it mix up. Mix it up, you put yeah. me on the spot there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these are mini bios um, on the different characters of the X Files. Uh, and today we're looking at Cigarette Smoking Man, or yeah. Cancer Man, as we found out in yeah, one episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, Man of many names. Man of many names. Uh, we're also going to look at the the sort of conspiracy or as a whole. Yeah, or the, government. the government. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, cigarette smoking man is a mysterious operative uh, who works for the government, um, who hides truths from the American public, mm. uh, and he also has top level access in the FBI and the Pentagon, as we saw from the pilot, yeah. um, as he was putting um, evidence away into some. Old. Yeah, it's a um, huge warehouse. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, at the start of the series, what did you think of Cigarette Smoking Man and this conspiracy, yeah. I suppose? Um, well, as you know, um, all of our listeners flood to this podcast for <laughs> brilliant insights. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, I'm going to lay another one down on you. Oh, yeah. Um, I think he smokes cigarettes. Yeah, like. he, oh, that's, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember what type of cigarettes? Um, I th- it, it wasn't Marlboro, was it? No, it was like a brand like Marlboro and. Mm. Unfortunately, that's the only insight we can give because <laughs> this guy is still a complete mystery yeah, and, yeah. in a way, very refreshing because yeah. not many shows are happy to... I mean, you, you've got mystery shows, of course you do, mm-hmm. but not many shows are happy to just leave a character out there like that and not explain it for two seasons. Yeah, that's the thing. Like All we know of this guy, really, is that he works with the government, he covers stuff up, and he smokes cigarettes. That's, That's all? all we really know. And we know he's important. We yeah. know it's not just like, oh, you know, villain number one. He is an important man, and he's going to make a, be a big deal. And that's the thing. We know that he's on this like sort of council or something, because we saw that one scene where it was with Kerchek and these other group mm. of people sat around talking about yeah. this conspiracy. So we know they're involved in this like group, and whether that's a bigger group or this is like... A group within a group. I yeah. don't really know, um, but yeah, I suppose. What else do we know about this this conspiracy so far? Yeah, well, we know that. I mean, it goes right to the top. We know that it's got its fingers in a lot of pies across mm-hmm. the world. Yeah, and not only the military, but also um, separate scientific divisions. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and as well, they they've explicitly stated that. Aliens are here, and they, yeah. And from the second episode, we find out they've been here for a long time. Yeah, um, Deep Throat says as much. So again, this this. Well, I mean, don't forget, we've actually seen them communicating with aliens. Well, yeah, in this exactly. in this season, I know I'm jumping ahead to the next question, but yeah, we know that they're involved in this. So right from the start, it's not really a main plot point. <laughs> um. Again, the government sort of they're just getting in the way. They're not re, but the more this TV show goes on, the more I realise that I think they're going to be the main protagonist. The antagonist, antagonist sorry, yeah. to, to two. Oh our yeah, protagonists. yeah, yeah, definitely. I think this this conspiracy and whatever it leads into, whatever it leads, because we we've sort of mentioned that there's this sort of like split between two alien societies, yeah. I guess. Um, whether that is the entire. Thing throughout the entire series, or whether that concludes and there's a bigger problem or something mm-hmm. like that, we don't know. But um, it is, it's a tough one to sort of talk about with this because it, it still, again, after two series, we still don't know that much no. about it. It, it is, it is. Well, you think of other TV shows that use sort of mystery as their main point, and I instantly think of Lost, mm. um, which I mean, it, it's for better or for worse, depending on your point of view. That whole show was due to mysteries, yeah. but even they would drip feed you information. They didn't mm-hmm. just leave you hanging like yeah. like X Files have done. And so I think it's a very refreshing way to do it. I think that the 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 benefit that some something like X Files has over Lost is because this is an episodic format. Yes. Um, whereas Lost was every episode is about this this main story. Whereas with this we get main story, main story. Oh, and then an episode about. A vampire, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we get sort of a yeah, break from that, exactly. So it does get it. It doesn't become stale of always looking at this this plot. Completely but, um, agree with that. Yeah, uh, I mean, 
Yeah, carry on, sorry. All I was going to say was, I mean, because we don't have that much to talk about him, we could always sort of put what we think is um, there out there. And I, what, I wanna, what I'd like to ask you is, how far up the chain do you think Cigarette Smoking Man is? I have a feeling that not very high. You think he's like a spokesperson? I, I, yeah, I feel like he's quite low down. Like, it's... My thinking is that this, what we've seen so far of this organization, is made to make you think that these are the upper echelons. These are the guys uh, controlling everything. I get the feeling these are like a third rung down. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Like, let's say um, they're trying to set these up as these are like in government terms. These are the presidents. Yeah. I think these are middle management, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I can they, see that. I can see that. They're um they're sort of reporting to some higher figure and whether this is off, off or on planet. Who yeah. Knows? For example, I almost feel like Deep Throat and Exo are working at a higher tier than they are. Possibly. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And, yeah. but, and yeah. like they're the informants coming yeah. out. Um well what, what another thing I'd like to ask, and um, because I mean we could get to the second question that we usually ask, but I feel like it's just gonna be much of the same because yeah, yeah, we don't exactly. really know that much more. Yeah, I, I agree. Um so I think with Deep Throat, it's hard to talk about Deep Throat without mentioning um as we sort of said, Kerchak the the one Cigarette that, smoke around, you mean? Oh yeah, what what did I say? Deep, deep throat. Oh, so, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> stuck, stuck in yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, with cigarette smoking, man, I think we learned most about him with the whole issue with him infiltrating the X Files yeah. or trying to at least. Yeah, with, with Kerchak as like yeah. that, that and agent. Yeah, that that told us probably more than we've learned in the last two seasons. Oh about yeah, him. definitely. Yeah, and um, because he actively tried to get involved with that, and I think that goes to show it's not just. He's not just covering up; he's actively against the X Files. Dis- uh, yeah, disabling them, and um, it shows as well how um, far along Mulder and Scully are now that they've got a lot closer than initially they were. Because before then, they were just sort of keeping an eye on it, but now they're sabotaging their. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because if you if you compare it to the pilots, um. Cigarette Smoking Man was there. He wasn't too concerned. He was happy to sit in the background whilst they got somebody to keep an eye on Mulder. Yeah. And yeah. that was it. Yeah. And then you jump forward a season and he's actively getting involved yeah. to the point where almost suggesting that they kill Mulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely. you can see how far along the X-Files have come and how much closer they are to discovering if not the whole truth, at least a portion of it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I suppose we sort of finish off then. Where do you see uh, Cigarette Smoking Man um, ending up? Where do you see their their character fitting into this universe? And I suppose, where do you see the conspiracy going as well? Uh, it's a very difficult question. So we already know that they're working with some extraterrestrials, mm-hmm. Um which is going to... I don't know how that's going to play out, if I'm honest. No. Um, but like I said before, I'm almost certain that this is going to be... They're going to be the main antagonists throughout. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. going to have that Feels sort of life. underlying conflict constantly. Um, and I'm almost looking forward to it coming to a head. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know how it's going to work. I, f- I feel like we're going to get... <sighs> With the cigarette smoking man specifically, I feel like there's going to be one episode that's going to um, we're going to find a lot out about them. Or something I, like that. The X Files are going to have to try and expose them in yeah, some yeah. way. That's the only way you can beat these yeah. because you can't you, you can't take them out. Like Mulder and Scully aren't going to go on a killing spree, are yeah. they? They're not yeah. going to kill everyone in in the conspiracy or in the plot. That, that's the thing because uh, I mean the way to defeat them is exposing them exactly to the uh, world. I mean we've already had one of the the conspiracy group, I guess, die with Crew Cut Man, mm-hmm. and that did f- feel a bit unceremonious just because we didn't really know anything about him afterwards. Yeah. Um, so I feel like with the sort of bigger players like with uh, Cigarette Smoking Man and even Kerchek as well I think um, we're going to find out a lot more about them before they've uh, finished playing their role in this or yeah. or, or whatever actually happens I don't know <laughs> and I, and, yeah exactly and I feel like especially from season 3 onwards and again this is all sort of conjecture but I feel like we're going to have a lot more characters from the government yeah we're going to we're going to see we're going to be able to put a lot more faces to this plot. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I feel like that's going to be interesting. I, I'm gonna. I, I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays out. Yeah, me too. Um, so that is the end of this episode. We will be looking uh, at our last uh, group, I guess. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't say person. Yeah, yeah. Because we're talking about four very special people. Okay. Well, five maybe? Was there five? Wasn't the, the guy on the computer? We, we, uh, anyway, yeah, we'll get into that. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to be covering the Lone Gunman. Yeah. Um, so uh, we hope you will join us then. Yeah. See you then. Yeah.